and these leads are extremely hard so they don't snap. Hey guys, Brad here, and today we're gonna to be taking a quick look at a Pika pencil. And this is a video I did about nine months ago. So I just wanna kinda of go over my experience with, with you and show you the pencil and show you the Halta Force pencil as well, pluses and minuses, things like that. So it's just sort of a, a recap of my year in review kind of thing. So I still keep them in my bib like I've always done. This is the Pika Dry, and this is my Halta Force. Now, like in my other video, I explain how, you know, I always use the Halta Force. I've been using it for a year and all that stuff. I've really switched over to the Pika Pencil. And the main reason for that is the lead just keeps working. I don't have a problem with pressing this down and the lead retracting and going in and out and all that kind of stuff. So I'm really, really pleased with this. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit that notify bell, give me a thumbs up if you're liking the video because we've got lots more videos coming in as always. So this pencil to me has just been so handy. I've dropped it many times in the water and the mud and it just keeps on going. Whereas my Halta Force pencil I actually just switched this one out today, but this is a, a sort of a new one, but they get really gummed up inside, especially when you're using the colored leads and that's causing them not to, to work. So it's very, very frustrating. I think what I'm about to do actually is buy a second Pika pencil and just mark the top of it so I know which one's got my colored lead in it because when I'm building decks or framing, I'm always using my pencil, but also a colored pencil, just for different ways that I mark stuff out. So I like to carry two pencils with me. And uh, the, the Pika, I just can't say enough good things about this pencil. If you haven't seen the other videos on it, it's got a sharpener on the bottom. So you just put the lead out like this, stick it in the bottom, give it a twist and you've got a nice sharp lead. The lead that I'm using, and I mentioned this in my last video, is actually the Halta Force lead. It does fit in the Pika pencil. I ran out of uh, Pika lead and uh, I'm probably gonna buy like a package with a new pencil and some lead as well because I am getting low. And this is all I've got left for my lead. So for the Halta Force, I have a full pack of leads, which will actually probably realistically, realistically last me the whole year. And I've got this one, which has got the colored leads, which I have been going through. So I've got two yellows, a red, and then a full yellow in this one. So that's all I've got in these. And if you're not familiar with this, the way these work, you just spin to the color you want and it drops out. And when you don't need a lead, you just spin it to this blank spot and that's it. So super handy to have. I know there's been some questions. Do the Pika leads work on Halta Force? And I can't answer you that because I don't have any Pika leads. So as soon as I get some, I'll give it a try and we'll do another video and I'll let you know. And I'm also going to pick up some pipe cleaners and I'm going to try and clean out these Halta Force pencils and see if I can get them working again because quite honestly, I've got two of them right now that are just sitting on a shelf because they will not work at all. And it's just because I think they're gummed up with pencil lead and, and all that good stuff, maybe dirt or whatever. So, but saying that, the Pika has not failed me. And I mean, I've been using this thing every single day for nine months and it's just really, really held up, you know, with dirt, with rain with mud and all that stuff dropping it the lead i really like the lead of the halta force I, the pika lead when i first had it it was equally as good you know you can write on anything um it really you know i'll just scribble here a bunch and i'll show you how much it wears down the lead it takes a lot to wear down this lead if you can kind of see it okay now i'm just going to keep with a normal carpenter's pencil 
this would wear down very, very fast. And you can see it doesn't wear down that fast. And these leads are extremely hard, so they don't snap. Like, I actually have never snapped a lead on one of these pencils, ever. That's not a lie. I've never snapped one. The colored uh, leads, I have snapped a lot of them because they're really, really soft and it takes nothing. See, this is yellow oh, and I can snap it just like that, right? Very little pressure and they snap right off. Whereas the, the pencil or the lead, I'll snap this one off. Okay, I'm gonna push pretty hard. Okay, I had to push a lot harder to break that one. So, I am very, very impressed with Pika. I can't say enough good things about it. We'll leave some links down below for uh, Amazon or whatever, whatever we can find. And yeah, we'll do another video coming up on will the Pika lead fit in a Halta Force pencil. And hope you guys liked the video. Make sure you leave some comments down below. I know this was just a quick one, but I wanted to let you know that after nine months, maybe a little bit more, uh, I'm really, really happy with this pencil and I can't recommend it enough. So keep on crushing it, guys, and we'll catch you later.